Cartini has a passion for magic, and you can see it in the way he runs his store, The Magic Shop. I care about my customers. I want them to learn. I'm not like a one-hit wonder here. I want you to come back. Most of my customers are repeat customers, and they've been coming back for years. Matter of fact, last night I saw a customer I hadn't seen in 25 years, uh, which was fun. I mean, that's it's it's a it's a hobby. It doesn't the magic tricks don't go bad. You know, if you lose them, that's a different story. But if you don't, they'll last. I have tricks. My first trick I bought, I still have. It's 40 years old. It still works. Before opening the store, Phil owned a number of ice cream trucks and would go around performing tricks for all the kids he sold ice cream to. The kids loved the tricks so much that he decided to open a magic store in 1974, and he's been in business ever since. In 2011, the magic shop was recognized for its contribution to the community by being named the best hobby store in Long Island by the Long Island Press. It's a great hobby. I mean, magic, it, it instills confidence in, in, in kids and in adults as well, and it, uh, it's just enjoyable to watch because it's a reality that it's not reality but it is and it, it makes you think and that's the main that's the, the main ingredient to magic is it it stimulates your mind and it makes you want to learn it's a lot of fun i enjoy doing it obviously i'm still doing it 38 years later now <laughs> The staff of the Magic Shop in Levytown really know what they're doing, and their excitement and willingness to teach others are what bring people back for more. From simple car tricks to more advanced ones using swords and balloons, you're bound to find a trick you'll enjoy. And over the years, it's become much more than just a place to buy magic tricks. In a community, I think it kind of, it's almost like an after-school activity for kids. The Magic Shop is really, you know, you get to see the tricks being performed. You get the free lesson when they teach you how to do it, which is invaluable. Because they're not only going to tell you how to do it, but why you need to do it that way. What creates that illusion in the spectator's mind? It's a hands-on experience. And when you watch a professional magician perform it, and know that he just fooled you with it, and now, even knowing how it's done, it still fools you. You don't see how it's done. You know how it's done, but you still don't see it. And there's a reason for that. And they teach you the technique when you find the trick. You can't find that all over the Internet. A number of magicians got their start right here at the Magic Shop. Chris Angel, who's one of the most well-known magicians today, bought his first trick here and spent hours upon hours practicing his skills at the shop. But whether you're an expert or a beginner, the Magic Shop is just a great place to have some fun. They have really great tricks. They're, they're really fun. They're some, some are very easy to do, but they really get you into it, like the dollar bill one. Uh, with a pen and some of them are hard, but they're really cool a lot of them. It really gets people like, it, it, it annoys in it annoys in some way people when they don't know how to do it because it's so cool because it looks so weird. Good. And we got some of his eye, you know. Whoa. There you go. How can it be? That's that's what he like about it. It's a different type of art. It teaches people how to think outside the box, you know? Because what you're seeing, what we're presenting to people are, are really, it's, it's very real. Only we're using real principles to create something that looks unreal. I mean, that's, that's the appeal to it. You know, the magic doesn't really happen in the magician's hands. It happens in the spectator's mind, and that's the thing that's, that's really important. And a kid can do it. Once he knows the secret, and he's able to hide the secret, it's done. Phil Cartini really enjoys passing along his knowledge to young aspiring magicians, and he's still as enthusiastic about magic as he was years ago, which is a big reason why the magic shop has been so successful. What I love about magic the most is that it's got mystery to it, and you're never going to learn everything. It's impossible. I've been doing this now 40 years, and it's not even, not even a dent in how much you can learn in magic. No one knows everything. It's impossible to learn all this stuff. And uh, I get to see a lot of a lot of a lot of people get better at what they're doing, and it changes their lives. And it's it's fun changing people's lives, and it, it carries on throughout their whole life, which is really good. For push pause in Levytown, this is Matt Brody. Right now, this balloon is terrified because it sees the needle. Now I've been working on hypnotizing inanimate objects, and I've gotten fairly good at it. You wave the needle in front of the balloon like this, and the balloon is totally hypnotized. Here we go. Now look at that. The needle actually looks like it's inside the balloon. And now it looks like it's actually passing through the balloon.